this is the purple demon it's got some black deer hair on the top it's also got this monofilament ring in the back this loop here that's going to help hold these feathers up to keep them from uh, following up on the hook let's get started on this one first we're going to secure that hook into vice and start the thread I'm going to start the thread on this one towards the back end of the hook get that in place cut off that excess first thing we're going to do is tie in that monofilament so I'm just going to make a little thread base here for that to sit up against I'm going to take my monofilament I'm just going to cut a smaller section of this just a, something that's a little bit more manageable to work with and if you look at it there's usually a kind of a natural curve to it I'm going to use that curve to my advantage so I'm going to tie the first side of the monofilament in on your side of the hook a couple of wraps kind of tighten it down a little bit more and now with that natural curve that I was talking about, I can use that to my advantage here as I come in to form the rest of that loop. A couple of wraps like that. And lock it down tight with that thread. Cut off the excess mono. Now, if you'd like to, you can come in here and hit it with a little super glue. I'm not going to do too much super glue right now just because it does get a little sticky when you start getting the feathers in here. So next we're going to take these purple hackle feathers. And there's four on the back of each of these. So we're going to do one at a time here. Sometimes these also have a natural curve to them. And if they do, we'll just use that if you want to kind of flare them out or if you want to flare them in. I kind of like to flare them out. So we're going to take this and just kind of lay it up against the hook to see how far back we want it to be. If you look at the original one here that we started with, you can see how far back those feathers go. So we're going to take this and just measure it here and find the point where it's going to tie onto the, to the hook and start peeling back some of these extra fibers off that feather here, exposing that stem. Once we've got that exposed, we can come in here with our scissors, just snip that off, line it up on the hook, and tie in that feather. And just a couple of wraps is enough to hold that in place while you get your next feather. And do the same thing. Match it up for length, see where it's going to come in on that hook, strip off some of those extra feathers, expose that stem, cut off the excess, Bring it back to the hook. And a couple of wraps there. I've got one on both sides of the hook. There are four on this, and I'm going to bring my next one in. Do the same thing. Measure it out. See where it needs to be stripped. Let me try that again. Measure that to here. Come in and strip off some of those feathers. Cut off the excess couple of wraps to hold it in place that's three of them and I'll bring in the fourth one measure it strip it back cut off the excess and tie it in now with this last one, I'm going to kind of do a bunch of wraps to kind of lock that in place a little bit better. And forward a little bit. Now we're going to tie in some of this black flash material. I'm going to take this and pull out a section of this. Probably want to get about three strands or so. I'm just going to take it and even up the ends on it real quick. And then I'm going to fold it in half twice. And that center point 
uh, once I've got it in half, is where I'm going to tie into the fly here. I'm going to try to hold it on your side of the hook first. And wrap that in. And then the other side, I'm going to bring towards me and then towards the back again. And try to capture that and tie it in on my side of the hook. Just so it kind of goes over those feathers that we tied in already. Now we do have loops in these, so we're going to come in with the scissors and just cut the loops in the back here. Those loops are from when we folded it over. Now we got that black hackle in there, or not hackle, the black flash in there. Now the next thing we want to tie in is the deer hair. Or not the deer hair, the body. So the body's going to be this purple flash. This can be a little tricky. This is thin stuff, this purple flash here. I like to take at least two or three strands of this. And again, I'm going to even up the ends when I grab it. I like to grab like three strands because this is a thin material. And so I'm going to get it tied on the hook here. And I'd like to have three strands because I can kind of twist them. It's a little hard to twist. This stuff is pretty slippery. So it's a little tough to twist. I'm going to bring the thread up, not quite to the front, but to here. But if you can kind of twist this a little bit as you're wrapping it on the hook, it'll roll over itself. And if one of these breaks, the other two hopefully will hold it down in place. So we're going to just bring this over and build up this, this body like this. If you remember on the original that we looked at, there are the, there's the barbell eyes. So we're going to stop this short of that to where those eyes are going to come on here. Probably right about there. So captured in our thread, a couple of wraps. I cut this excess off here. few more wraps to lock it down in place. And now we can bring in the barbell. I like to tie this on perpendicular or parallel to the hook. A couple of loose wraps. It's going to drop in place once we let go, but I like to have a couple on so when it drops in place it catches it on the hook. Now we're going to start some figure eights around this. We don't want this to get too close to the, to the eye of the hook, so I'm going to scooch it back just a little bit there. We want enough room up there for the deer hair. These figure eights help keep it straight on that hook. The first deer hair we're going to tie is going to be on the top. So we'll take a clump from the deer hair and just cut that off. If you look at it, some of them might be long, so you might want to take them out of the clump and add them back into the right length so they kind of line up to the same overall length if possible. So now on the top, we're going to take this and we're going to measure it back to about there. And tie in the back. A couple of wraps there come forward and now we're going to tie the front and you notice how I got all this excess here that's okay I'm going to just kind of do a loose wrap first it's going to slowly bring it down and as it comes down closer to the hook and, I, and I'm getting it tight there I can see where how close it is to the hook and come in with my scissors cut it at a slight angle here hopefully to get a, a cleaner cut by the head we got a little extra one there, so come in and get that again. Now we've got enough material there to tie down and start building the head up a little bit. I'm going to go over this again with a, a couple of 
figure eights just to lock that deer hair in and come back up front. Now we're going to do the bottom deer hair. Same idea. Just going to take another clump of deer hair off the pot, off the stack here. Even it up as best you can. Pulling them out and matching them back up. Now I'm going to use my rotary vise to my advantage. Bring this underneath here. That flashback. Bring this underneath here. And wrap it underneath a loose wrap first another loose wrap and I'm just going to kind of pull it so anything that wrapped down is kind of on the bottom of that hook now another tight wrap I'm gonna come in and snip that again and now with that cut come in and do a bunch of tighter wraps to get that that head, head built up and to lock those into place Once I'm done with that, I'm going to whip finish it just to keep that thread from coming off. Cut off the thread. And there you have it, the purple demon. always throw a little super glue on that head if you want I like to do that just to keep those threads from coming loose a lot of times these are going to bass or pike or something you know they might have some bigger teeth so I want to keep that thread from getting torn up by those teeth purple demon